Today I have a, another pen brand that I've never tried before that I'm going to share with you and I'm kind of happy to do so because I hope that when you watch these videos that perhaps you learn something about these pens or it helps to inform your decision of whether or not you would like to buy this pen or buy one of these pens. So I am more than happy to of course, provide my opinion. So the brand that I have today, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce the name correctly, but you know what I do like is their logo mark. And you know, I think it's kind of cool. So this pen comes from the LaBeouf Pen Company. Look at that, it's a nib longhorn. And I live in Texas, so it just, you know, it like hits home, man. I have one of their vintage select pens. So yeah, it's, uh, I peeked at it. It's a good looking pen. You know, it always depends on how that nib writes. That's very important to me and as well, I'm sure it's important to you too. So let's go ahead and take that off. So we've got the outer sleeve that has the logo mark and you know, the name of the company, put that to the side. And then again, it's repeated on the box itself. And so it comes in the box that's so much like, you know, it's got a kind of a clamshell, but it's got a magnetic closure, open it up. And here's your pen. Whoa, hello. Oh, it says here, LaBeouf. I really hope I'm saying that, LaBeouf, LaBeouf. It's like that actor Shire LaBeouf, LaBeouf. It says here that all LaBeouf writing instruments are guaranteed to be free from any and all mechanical defects for three years. So I guess if anything happens with your LaBeouf pen after you purchase it and then over the next three years, I, it looks like they will uh, you know, they will service your pen. So, or replace it no charge. So that's pretty cool. I, you know, I appreciate those types of companies that stand behind their product. If something goes wrong with your pen, they're not gonna be like jerks and be like, tough. They're like, yeah, sure, send it on over. Let's take a look at it. This pen also comes with six cartridges. And here is our pen. It's nice, it's very classy. It's very simplistic, which sometimes, you know, pens don't need a whole lot of details. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes it just takes away from just the beautiful silhouette of a writing instrument. It's a little, it's a little on the small side in my opinion. It's not like a super large pen. I think it's, you know, it's actually a decent size. So, but it might be, if, if you're a person that have bigger hands, this might be a little too small for you. The Vintage Select is intended to be a streamlined design. It's intended to have, you know, I think it brings a lot more focus to the material used to create the pen. Um, but what it's meant is to evoke the, the golden era of fountain pen writing, which would be around the 1930s. So that's what the Vintage Select represents, is that era of fountain pen writing which I totally appreciate that. So let's go ahead and I like the clip. I like that, you know, the only place you're gonna find the name of the pen is right there on the clip. So it keeps it very simple. The shape, it's, you know, it's like a classic cigar shape. It's a little pointy at the finial and the end of the barrel. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that nib. It's a smaller nib. It looks like it's a number five. So it's not a big number six nib. Now, the one thing that I wish this pen had, I wish that the grip section matched the, uh, the material here on the barrel. But I mean, I don't hate that section. In fact, you know, it's not super slippery. In fact, it, it feels like it'll prevent my fingers from slipping to the nib. But I just kind of think the black, it's just a little, it's a little too, it's, it competes too much with this beautiful resin. So in the name of this resin, it's called Sapphire Stone Pearl. It is a lovely resin. It's gorgeous. I love that color. So let's see, does it come with a converter? Yes, it does. Awesome. Sweet. Cool, I like that. But yeah, it also has an O-ring here. So if there's any type of mishaps that happens underneath here, we'll prevent it from big gross mess coming out. So also if you look closely at the nib, it has that little nib longhorn on there. 
So yeah, that's the only gripe I have about this pen is I wish that the section matched the resin on the barrel. I think it would be a bit more cohesive in that manner. So let's see if it posts. Oh, it po oh, posts very deeply. It posts to, in my opinion, a nice size for my hand. Like I said, if you have very large hands, it might be a little on the small side for you. But yeah, it actually is, it's very light. It's nice and light and it fits really nice. So this is a pen I would probably post and write with. Very cool. There's three colors that come in this pen series. And I have, so I have the Sapphire Stone. I also have the Black Tortoise, which is very, it's very good looking. Now, in my opinion, the section goes a lot better with this material. I just think that the Sapphire Stone is a bit too pastel for such a dark um, domineering type of grip section, but it looks good with this pen. Again, this posts, it's a good looking pen. It's very nice. And it also has a fourth color, and I just so happened to have the, my Farney's catalog showed up yesterday, and I just so happened to have the page right here. So it also has this really cool green color pen. That's a good looking pen too. But again, I think if it has the same grip section, it might be just a little too, um, a little too bold for that light green and white color. That's just my opinion. You guys out there might not have a problem with it, but that's just how I feel about it. So, so here's both of them together, the Sapphire Stone and the Black Tortoise. They're, they're good looking pens. They are good looking pens. This is a pen that, you know, won't take up too much room in your pen case. Slide right in your pocket there. Well, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ink the Sapphire Stone pen up and let's see how this pen writes. this look at the La Bouffe Pen Company Vintage Select Collection. So I only have the two of the three, but it does come in that lovely green color as well. And I have to say, you know, it wrote pretty good. I really like the way it wrote. It didn't, it wasn't, you know, it, it didn't, uh, it didn't dry up on me. It didn't skip, it didn't have a hard start. So I always appreciate that. And that's what I do appreciate is always a good, reliable, writer, especially if I'm going to put this in my pen case, throw it in my purse, go somewhere, and I need to write something down, I expect this thing to work, and that's what I want.
that should be what you want too, I guess, in a pen. You know, I mean, we buy pens to write with them, right? So they should write. So, yeah. So let's talk price. So the Vintage Select Fountain Pen, the regular or the MSRP price is $170. That's not bad. But you can find it as low as $136. I mean, that's what it says here on the Farney's page. But you can also find this pen at your other favorite retailers, such as Pen Chalet and Gold Spot. So be sure to check out LaBeouf pens. I mean, they're good looking pens. If you're looking to take your fountain pen game to the next level, say you want to graduate from like, um, you know, a Conklin or a Twisby, and you just want to go that next extra step, you know, LaBeouf pen might be the pen for you. So yeah, well, I guess that's all I have to say about the LaBeouf pen vintage select. So that's how the ink flows.